Hey foodie fam, I welcome you all back to my channel with a new recipe. In today's video, we are going to see how to make this simple birthday cake at home. Before starting the video, today's shout out goes to Natrajan. So now without wasting any further time, let's get started. This is a egg cake, so I am adding 3 eggs into a bowl. If you are a vegetarian, do check out this link for the vegetarian version of the same cake. Now just use your hands to beat it up. Now let's add 1 fourth cup of powdered sugar. Next I am adding 1 fourth cup of coconut oil or even you can use refined oil or even butter. Don't use any other flavored oil, it will ruin your cake's taste. Our next ingredient is vanilla essence. Now our weight ingredients are ready. Now let's make our dry ingredients. For our dry ingredients, we require half cup of maida. and approximately 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Let's sift them once so that we don't get any lumps in our mixture. So here is our dry ingredients ready. Now just mix the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Make sure that there is no lumps in the batter. So now our cake batter is ready. Now let's transfer it into a mold. Before transferring it into the mold, let's grease it. No need of adding any butter paper. Just grease it with any oil you have. Now transfer the batter into a mold and tap it on a surface to avoid air bubbles inside the cake. Now for the baking setup, preheat a kadai for 10 minutes. Now place the cake inside the kadai and leave it closed for 45 minutes. Make sure the flame is at medium. After 45 minutes, at last our cake is baked. Now let it cool down for half an hour. After half an hour, our cake is still warm but let's remove the cake out of the mold. The cake will not cool down completely until you remove the cake out of the mold. Now let's give it a flip. And here we go. This is our cake. Now let's cut the top part of the cake to make it flat. So this is a cake how fluffy and soft it has turned out. I have made two cakes. Because I am going to make a birthday cake of two layers. And this is some beauty shots showing how the cake turned out. How fluffy and how soft it is. Now let's leave the cake to cool down completely. And now let's whip our whipping cream for the cake. I am using one cup of whipping cream for the whole recipe. And as always, I suggest you... Use electrical beater if you have and avoid a hand whisk. Now our cream is ready. I have transferred it to a piping bag with a nozzle of a round shape. Next take a bowl 
add 2 tablespoons of sugar and 3-4 drops of vanilla essence and now add 2 to 3 tablespoons of water to it. Mix it well until the sugar gets dissolved. Now let's apply cream on the spinner. Now put the cardboard and again apply cream and let's place our cake on the top of the cream. Now apply the sugar wala liquid on top of the cake. This se apna cake ekdam moist bhi rehta hai aur ekdam soft soft rehta hai. Now apply a whipping cream and spread it all over the cake. Now let's place the second layer of the cake. And this ke upar bhi hum apna sugar wala liquid dal denge. Now let's pipe the cream around the cake. After applying the cream, the next step is to flatten the cream and remove the extra cream. Now let's take a scraper of a design and rotate the cake with it. So this is how the cake looks with the design. Now let's pipe more cream to decorate it. I am taking the star nozzle for decoration. Now I am using a tissue paper to remove the extra cream from the cardboard. Now I am decorating the cake with few colorful gems. You can even use chocolate shavings, chocolate chips or even chocolate syrup for decoration. It's totally your choice. You can customize your cake as you wish. My cake was looking very plain from the bottom. So I am placing gems in the bottom also. So this is how simple and easy you can make your birthday cake at home. So hey guys, if you like this video, please do like the video. And if you don't like the video, please do dislike the video. And let me know how should I improve my videos. And do subscribe to the channel if you like it. Leave a comment down below to be the next part of the shout out.